there. So, um, so far I talked about, um, it would be, uh, Chicago Transit Authority, their debut album. Um, then I talked about Chicago, which is also known as Chicago 2, that would be their second album. Um, then I talked about Chicago 3, um, which is their third studio album, came out in 1971. Then I talked about Chicago 5, which is their fourth studio album, so I'm going to be talking about just the studio albums, not live. And then I talked about, um, after that, I talked about, um, it was, uh, Ch Ch Chicago, Chicago, um, yeah, 1972, I talked about Chicago, uh, Ch 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 Chicago, it would be their, yeah, fifth, Chicago Five, that came out in, um, 19, uh, 70, uh, 72, and then in 1973, I did that album review, which I posted not long ago, talking about, um, it would be Chicago, um, Six, which came out in, uh, 1973. So, today I'm going to be talking about Chicago, um, Chicago, um, this would be their seventh studio album. So this one's kind of like um, their first three studio albums, which were a double album. So this is, this um, here is just like their, um, their, their three uh, double albums. So this, is, they decided, I guess, to do another double album a couple years after. Because the last one they done was the Chicago 3, which was a double album. And um, so they decide, I guess, decided to do another double album. So I'm going to be talking about um, Chicago uh, 7. So um, this one is, their, this would be their sixth studio album, <clears throat> which, um, which is um, Chicago 7. So that's just including their, that's not including their um, live. So it's like, um, like I said, you know, I did Chicago 1 at 69 and 70, 71. So, yeah, so this is their sixth studio album, but um, Chicago 7. So that's not including their 1971 live album. So, um, yeah, so this album here was released on um, March 11th of uh, 1974. So um, the songs on this album um, include... Um, Prelude to Erie, um, then there, then, um, there's Erie, which, Erie, I, A-I-R-E, um, which is 627, that song, and then there's a song called, um, Devil's Sweet, which is, uh, 10 minutes and 7 seconds. And no, those two are probably like the, I would say probably like the longest songs I think on the album. And then there's um, Italian from New York. And then um, Hanky Panky. So, um, which <clears throat> are the first five songs are instrumental. So those first ones on the um, album there, the beginning, you know, those first five, there's no singing. It's just pretty much instrumental. And that's about it. Um, and then once it gets into singing, you know, then there's like Lifesaver. That's once it's singing, you know. Um, and then Happy Man, which that's a great song, Happy Man. I believe that one there they done um, a special, I think, in uh, not the, I don't know if it was the Caribou Ranch. There was that one. Then they had another one special in, uh, I think, 1974. We go, like, say, if you type in, say, um, Chicago 1974, it should come up. Um, a live, uh, they had, yeah, broadcast, they did a live, um, I can't remember what it's called, but, yeah, Happy Man, then it's that. 
then I've been searching so long, which I think the same one they've done, live version of that. And then um, the next song is, um, um, oh, jeez, I don't know how you pronounce this one, M-O-N-G-O-N-U-C-L-E-O-S-I-S. -I -S. That's a big name. Mongoliosis, I take it. Um, yeah, and then there's that. Then there um, Songs of the Evergreens. There's that. And then um, um, By, by Blow, P-Y-B-L-O-S. Um, and Wish You Were Here. Um, call on me. Um, Women don't want to love me. And then the last song on this album, which I believe that's like the 16th or 17th track, the last, the very last one, which this is a, you know, <clears throat> well, this album is like 70 some minutes long, I believe. Um, Skinny Boy. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, the first five are kind of like instrumental, no, no singing. So that's kind of different, you know, like all the other albums are pretty much singing, right? There might be, you know, a couple in, but this one here is like um, different than, um, than the other ones, I find, because the first ones are kind of like instrumental tracks. Um, but yeah, um, I go through this again. Um, so there's Prelude to Eerie, and then after that is Eerie. So it probably goes kind of like an introduction. Then it goes into the song kind of like a, um, which is 627. Then Devil's Sweet, which is 10 minutes and 7 seconds. So those are probably, I think, the, like, kind of like the longest songs on, on this album, right? And then there's Italian from New York, um, Hanky Panky. Um, so yeah, those are their first five instrumental tracks. Then there's um, Lifesaver, um, Happy Man, I've Been Searching So Long, and then there's Mongolosius, um, and then after that is Songs of the Evergreens, um, by Biblo, B Y B L O S, um, Wish You Were Here. Then there's um, Call On Me, which I believe Call On Me, that song, I believe they've done a, um, I don't know, oh, geez, um, they've they done a, there was like a um, um, TV special, I think. Um, not the Rockies, but they had one that they done in 1973, the Rockies, and then the next year they had another one that they played, I forget where it was, and they had a special. Um, and they played that song, um, Call On Me. And it was like outside. Um, it wasn't the Caribou Ranch. It was, or maybe it, it was a different uh, different one the next year. But they played a couple new songs from, from that album and the ones before. Can't remember what it's called. But if you can remember what, 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 um, what it's called, the special that they did, and, um, please comment down below. Um, and let me know. That'd be great. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But anyways, then there's a song called Woman Don't Want to Love Me. And then the last is um, Skinny Boy. Um, yeah, so uh, make sure to give this a thumbs up. Um, comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Um, so make sure to check out I did, like, um, like I said, um, Chicago Transit Authority, a debut album, that album review. Then I did Chicago, also known as Chicago 2. Then I did Chicago 3, um, album review. Then, um, Chicago, yeah, Chicago 3. And then, um, Chicago 5. And then I done Chicago 6 album review. And then this is, um, Chicago 7 album review. So yeah, so far this is like the sixth album review of theirs I think I've done. And that's like not include because they had a live album in like, you know, 1971. So I just do just doing the um 
the uh, studio albums. So make sure, if you like this, make sure to check out the ones of like Bob Seger album reviews, like Night Moves, and then I've done um, Rambling Gambling Man, um, Seven, Smoking OPs, I've done that album review. So quite a bit, and then I've done Brian Adams' um, Live, Live, Live album review. Make sure to check that out. Also, if you're kind of like me, I like rock, I like pop, I like um, different, you know, varieties of music. Make sure to check out, um, if you like kind of pop, make sure to check out um, Jewel from um, Pieces of You. I've done that, and I've done album review, and then I've done Jewel um, um, 0304 album review. Um, uh, Spirit, and I've done um, Goodbye Alice in Wonderland, Jewel um, album review. I've done um, Picking Up the Pieces album review. Make sure to check that out. So I've done about seven or eight. She had seven or eight out. Um, oh, Sweet and Wild album review. So I've done that. Also, I did, like I said, Madonna album. I've done Madonna album, album reviews. So different, different, like there's rock I've done, and then I've done pop. Anyways, um, I don't want, you know, to end this off, uh, make sure to put a thumbs up, comment down below, and probably get, let me know what your favorite um, Chicago album is or whatever. Um, anyways, oh, and also check out Essential Classic Rock Vinyl Records. And um, thank you for watching, and make sure to put a thumbs up, comment down below, and always remember to subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching, and uh, bye.